The first change to Photoshop CS6 was an update to the Camera Raw plugin, version 7.1. This introduced very important changes for HDR, or high dynamic range imaging. They're faster and easier than ever before, but there are a couple of tricks. Let me show you how it works. Here in Bridge CS6, we have a variety of different JPEGs, all shot at different exposures. And I'm going to come in here and hand those off to Photoshop's Merge to HDR Pro. Now the trick here is to make certain that this is set to 32-bit. I'm going to click on the Remove Ghost checkbox, and it's going to map to whichever image is outlined in green. You can override that if you choose, but I want to use what Photoshop has suggested in the lower left there. Now I'm going to click OK, and I have a 32-bit file. Now what I want to do is save a 32-bit TIFF back alongside those others. And the last step is the most important. I want to make sure that Camera Raw can open those TIFF files. So make sure this is set to automatically open all supported TIFFs. And so now when I take that TIFF file and I open it in Photoshop, I'll see the familiar and easy to use Camera Raw dialog. I can use the new controls for highlights, shadows, and clarity to get access to more information than ever before. So there you have it, really quick and easy 32-bit TIFFs passed through Camera Raw 7.1.